So the surface blades is bright, masking the shadows below seems to be really referring to Beledar in the dark cycle from Hellofall. The King of Diamonds being made upon is almost certainly Magni, very likely being manipulated by Zalatat and the Void. Five keys to open our way is us getting the five artifacts to defeat Sergeras back in Legion. Remember, we stopped Sergeras, the main enemy of the Void Lords, therefore opening the way for the Void to focus all their efforts on invading Azeroth. Now, I know these whispers didn't originally have any deep meaning and they were vague, but we also know that originally Zaltet was just a dagger with a little bit of flavor text that is now a mega villain of an entire saga. It's so obvious, Blizzard is picking back up where they left off in Legion and it looks like they may be filling in the gaps with the old god whispers they left back in Legion all these years later. So let's examine how these whispers predict the war within. With the War Within out, the best way to optimize your game is with the Trade Skill Master add-on. It's for everyone, whether you just want to make gold or you're flipping millions. It can help you manage your auctions, post items in bulk, find the best deals. It can help your professions by helping you see what's the most profitable thing to craft. Best of all, TSM now has a new premium package that can put you on a whole other level with a vast database that will help you make informed decisions on what to buy and when to sell. So make sure to click the link in the description and get 15% off your first purchase of premium TSM package. So I know no one is really taking these whispers seriously and that we've been attributing this to pretty much everyone and everything that is currently going on from BFA to Shadowlands to Dragonflight and every little hint we get. And Blizzard, of course, did purposefully make these Ilganaut whispers wake so they can fit anything. It's certain that they obviously didn't have anything in mind when they originally wrote them. However, what is almost certain as well is that now they're getting filled in and for that we got two big reasons. One is that literally the entire Void Black Empire thing is coming down crashing in on our heads in the War Within and the World Soul Saga, so there is really nothing else that is going to be happening later down the line with the Old Gods and the Void Lords. These Old Gods, Void Lords and all sorts of like these Void Crazies have been going at it on Azeroth for thousands of years, really setting up what is about to happen soon, which Blizzard has confirmed to be the final battle against the Void. So previous, you know, yeah. Talking about Shadowland Sigils being related to the Old God of Whispers was definitely a leech, but here, in this expansion and the next two, we're literally dealing with everything these guys have been cooking for us since they had arrived, like there really is no going further other than this. Second point I want to make is that while Blizzard has left them awake at a time, it's certain that they're now filling in the gaps and that is really for two reasons. One is that if you can see the new Chris Metzen interview when he returned, he really turned things upside down. Blizzard he was already working on this expansion, but he significantly shifted the narrative. It's so obvious Chris Metzen is picking up from where he left off, which was back at the end of Legion, and now he's continuing the whole story. All that BFA, Shadowlands, Dragonflight stuff was really filler, just noise that is still relevant, but not really by a lot. Chris Metzen obviously had a vision with the sword and that Legion ending that he is continuing now. Everything is picking back up from Legion, the sword, the Illidan, Sergera, Zelata, Titans, that really, it feels like the War Within is a sequel to Legion, which is why these whispers are now relevant. Furthermore, you might have seen the Blizzard interview, but they sort of confirmed that Zelatat wasn't really written as a half dozen expansion mega villain. She was literally just a cheeky, sassy dagger that gave you some interesting whispers, some flavored text that people loved a lot. So they decided to expand upon her in BFA, and now they made her like the villain of the entire series that is moving the entire World Soul Saga. So Zelatat also started as a pretty vague, barely fleshed out character, but now they filled in the gaps with what is relevant. I think the same thing will be happening with the Whispers of Ilganaut that are essentially predicting the War Within and the World Soul Saga. So let's start with the most obvious ones. Five keys to open our way, five torches to light our path. Our way, while we're talking about the old gods, now really seems to be the void way, the cosmological force void way, like opening the way and lighting the path for the void. From this current perspective, what seems very likely is that the five keys really were the pillars of creation that most people associated them with. These were the keys we used in order to imprison and defeat Sargeras. Now, how is this opening their way? Well, 
think about it. Sargeras, while being our enemy, was really the main enemy of the Void and the entire Burning Legion was even created in the first place to battle the Void, we were sort of collateral damage caught in the middle. While they did invade our planet, the bulk of their forces was constantly fighting the Void forces across the universe, so when we used the Fire Keys to imprison their main enemy, the Titan Keys, and break the army, we had essentially opened the way for the Void to come in. They no longer had to deal with the Legion BS, they can now put all their focus on Azeroth. Think about it, they had like 90% of their forces on Garrison defending against demons all over the universe, they could only really send small incursions into our planet, which is why we dealt with the occasional old god, we saw some small void invasions, however, now they got their hands open and we have opened their way. The second line, five torches to either path could also refer to the same thing, but I do think this is in fact referring to Dragonflight and the Oldstones. The Oldstones, while used to ultimately create dragon aspects, they don't really mean all that much. What I mean is that when you really think about it from this current perspective, the entire Dragonflight storyline was just one giant filler, like we released some primal incarnates, dealt with a rogue one, while the entire point of the story was really for Zaldat to get her hands on the Dark Heart, the essence of Galakrond, and to do what she is doing now. So we opened their way, we lit their path to go further into what they are doing now. The main reason I think the torches refer to the Oldstones is because they're literally five Oldstones and they're quite literally torches that we have lit. So that is referring to the most popular one, but let's look at this one that seems more relevant than ever now with the war within. Its surface blazes bright, masking shadows below. I know, this one is super vague, but I don't know about you, but to me this seems like a huge reference to Belladar, which is like the key part of this new expansion. Obviously, the surface of this mysterious gigantic crystal blazes bright, but the masking shadows below has multiple meanings. First is that the entire story of Hellfall is that the crystal is transforming into the void and that it is a pretty worrying thing, as in it might not return back to the light. One of the recent theories based on the information that we have from the expansion is that it might be related to the old god blood. We know from in-game dialogue that the crystal first shifted when Sargeras hit the planet with the sword and also the old god blood that was previously dormant in the surrounding zones awoke, which means Sargeras must have somehow push the blood of Katoon or something and just started moving it and evoke the blood. It is possible that the old god blood that arrived or pushed the one that was already there is what is really corrupting the crystal. As you might know, old god blood is magical, you might remember Serenite that significantly impacted Northrend or the blood of Yashraj that changed the entire continent of Pandaria. So masking shadows below could mean that the crystal is filled with old god blood and this thing they're doing to return it back is really just putting a band-aid and a temporary solution that ultimately won't work. However, this quote could also refer to the fact that the crystal is shining bright up in Hellafall, but the old god blood is going crazy in the rootlands and Ashkahed below, which the Nerubians are farming. There is also the so-called undersea and all sorts of crazy void beings there that you might have seen throughout the quest lines. So some crazy dark shadows really are in the zones below the giant shining crystal that Zelatad is really interested in, hence recruiting the Nerubians. Now the next one is super interesting, the King of Diamonds has been made a pawn. This is so obviously referring to Magni as he is quite literally the King of Diamonds and this is a theory that I previously talked about. Based on the recent quest lines we have seen from the expansion, I do think his form might be sort of related to the World Soul or at least some earthen thing, which is why he managed to save those earthen from the void. However, I still think it is highly likely that he might have never actually communicated with the World Soul and that Zelatek has been playing him all along. Like, we don't really even know what the world soul is. You have seen that Zeldad is known to possess and pretend to be someone else. I mean, that is literally how Deldran was destroyed. Magni has been sort of leading us into this entire thing. He is the one that ultimately led us to Kanzlegar in the first place. He also led us previously to drain our artifacts and specifically drain the artifact, the Zeldad dagger, directly into the sword of Sargeras. I think it is entirely possible that the King of Diamonds really was made upon and that all this speaker thing has been a plan of Zeldad. That. As you might have seen, he has now lost his form, which is a little bit crazy, seeing that Azeroth needs him now most than ever, as she is in grave danger. So I think this one might be the most relevant, and that Magni has led us into all sorts of troubles and has furthered the interests of Zelatat without even knowing. 
Now the next one is the famous the Lord of Ravens will turn the key. This one is a little bit weird. Immediately I would associate it with Khadgar as he is in Raven 4. We have seen him multiple times in Raven 4. We know Zalt that he had imprisoned him. So I was thinking he would do something later down the line. However, if you had seen the most recent cinematic, he literally escaped and Anduin has resurrected him. The thing is though, we don't really know what is possible later down the line. It isn't certain whether the arrow hitting the Dark Heart freed Khadgar and that allowed him a brief moment to escape or whether this was the plan of Zalatat all along. Zalatat obviously captured him, planning to taunt Illyria. I would say in her desperation, it is possible she released him, but she could have implanted something in his mind because remember, the void always works through mind control and later this could activate to turn the key. It is also possible that this already happened, like this event already occurred. Keep in mind, the Pawn King of Diamonds told us about Kazlagar to lure us into the battle against the Nerubians and the Lord of Ravens, Khadgar, had teleported to Delran, so he might have already turned the key and it is possible that these two predictions have already happened. Now the last one is, her heart is a crater and we have filled it. This could of course be referring to the Dark Heart and previously people thought this was Sylvanas, but somehow I feel like this is all referring to the World Soul and the Old God Blood. The World Soul is a she, so her heart, and we just learned there is a gigantic pool of Old God Blood flowing in like the foundations of the planet, so her heart being a crater was literally filled with black blood of the Old Gods that Zelda is now extracting and going crazy with it. Now, of course, as I said, I know Blizzard obviously didn't have any of this in mind originally, but as I stated, they also didn't have anything in mind with Zelatad, and now she's a 3 expansion villain that is really the longest ongoing villain since the Lich King. So I do think they're picking back up the Legion storyline and continuing on where they had left off in the World Soul Saga. Thank you for watching, check out the possible animated Warcraft series by clicking on the screen and check out my video on Ancient Training by clicking on the screen as well. See you next time.